Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is having a great day. So we're going to go ahead and continue with our collective reads. This will be for all signs, which means it may or may not resonate with you in your personal situation. If it does, take what resonates. If it does not, leave the rest for those that it applies in their personal situation. All right, collective, I wanted to come back and get some more energy after my last reading, right? I wanted to dig into a little bit more of the energy. There was a stubbornness that I was picking up on dealing with somebody that you had to like really pull out your empress energy and to kind of heal and nurture them back um, to help because we did have the sun in reverse energy and I was getting like somebody needed some mommy, right? Somebody was unwell in some way, shape or form, mentally and physically, spiritually, however that shakes out in that particular situation. But whoever that person was, was a queen of cups in reverse, but I was getting like more of like an adult child that was just kind of not taking responsibility for whatever's going on. So they kind of went to you and kind of just like, like unloaded on you, right? And, and what wanted you to do it. And in my last reading, you absolutely did. However, there was a stubbornness that I wanted to peel back with that Queen of Cups in the inverse and it's coming out. So let's go ahead and get it. We got a Queen of Swords energy coming out next to the Tower to the King of Wands, right? And I was getting this because we had the Empress energy come out, right? And then we had a King of Pentacles come out as well. So possibility you went to somebody else to help you. And this is coming out again as a confirmation or you married these both of these energies together. However, it resonated for you. This Queen of Swords uh, energy is somebody who's very honest, who's very knowledgeable, right? They're very opinionated and they think for themselves. In the middle, uh, we've got the tower. This is shock, change, unexpected situation. You know, this is definitely, you know, that energy of the Knight of Swords energy, uh, Knight of Swords in reverse that we had come out on our last reading. So this is a confirmation of what was going on. See, I told you, I wanted to dig deep and here we go. We got more details coming out. Something about something is like shocking that somebody didn't expect and it's like you you had to kind of really dig in there this is like faulty foundations coming down next to the king of wands right so again whether you went to somebody or not i'm getting that some people did go to another person to kind of help them with whatever this tower was dealing with this person that was overwhelmed in their emotions and you kind of had to balance that out so some people may have went to somebody else or this could be you carrying the same energy again place the energy wherever it resonates for you in your personal situation however this King of Wands energy, that's that leader in, uh, energy, right? Being the leader in this situation. So there is masculine and feminine energy, however way it shakes out. Whether you're balancing your feminine and masculine energy just in you to deal with this tower, right? That somebody brought you, or this could be a masculine and a feminine together working together. Again, the King of Wands energy is that leader. You're motivational, inspiring, courageous, and warm. And this is like what was needed. So it's like this uh, feminine energy and masculine energy was what was needed to deal with this tower energy because I told y'all what I was picking up on. Something wasn't right. And here is a confirmation of my intuition. Boy, I picked it up and here we go. Confirmation, moon energy was at play. This person that was the Queen of Cups in reverse energy that came out of my last reading, right? This person was carrying moon energy, the energy of deception, right? This something wasn't right that was in this particular situation. So there was an energy of deception here. This is somebody who was in their emotions and I was getting, it was kind of like giving you all their emotions and expecting you to kind of fix the problem, right? Bringing you the tower instead of them dealing with the tower, but there's the energy of the moon here. If this was a straight up situation, we would not have moon energy here. I'm telling you what I'm telling you because I told you what I picked up on. Y'all, this is somebody dealing with their emotions, energy of their insecurities, right? This is somebody like really like in there, like it was like a, a feminine energy. It's like really didn't know what was going on, whether she made up the situation. And I, I, I did hear imagined, the word imagine that does carry moon energy. So whether somebody made something up and embellished it and just created a tower and be like, here, you deal with it, right? So I did hear that word imagine in the downloads, something about an eight of cups energy. And I'm getting downloads, downloads about this too. So I was telling y'all, it's like somebody left the scene, somebody left, right? This eight of cups energy talks about somebody moving on, moving on and abandoning something and or chasing their dreams. I'm getting downloads like somebody wanted to leave, right? And it was, it's either, it was imagine, it was definitely something that was deceptive. There was something that you didn't see about the situation. I also heard abandonment wounds right so that may have also played into why they brought this tower because somebody was dealing with their abandonment wounds i heard abandonment wounds so this is significant in this person's situation literally carrying a star in the reverse to the magician in the reverse either way you slice it this person was playing you for a fool collector and i'm pretty sure you know that because again i, I was picking up on it and this is your confirmation star in the reverse somebody hopeless faithless pessimistic like in a really debbie downer mood obviously they're having a crisis a catastrophe right but it was not a catastrophe that they wanted to handle themselves. They wanted you to handle it. 
right there. Power energy, right? It's like, here, here's my mess. You clean it up, right? This, um, and this, our star in the reverse is the unrealistic wish for, for them to embellish something or just like really like make something more than what it was. And like, now you got to deal with it, right? Literally uh, running with the magician in the reverse energy with trickery, ma uh, manipulation. This was a deception. You got uh, two energies, unrealistic wish to trick you, manipulate you with deceptive energy. This person was trying to, trying to play you. How you, how you going, how you going to try to play uh, King of Wands and uh, the Queen of Swords? This person and, and or people know things, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So this is like the weirdest thing, but this is what this person's unrealistic wish. They thought they were going to get good news with this, this uh, page of wands energy. Literally, they thought they were going to get news with this. This is like childlike enthusiasm. And they're like, oh, well, if I can like do the most. And I, I, I heard, it's like I heard repeated. So this person may have come back to you more than once with the same ridiculousness. So I'm, I'm her, I heard repeated. So this person thought that they were like, oh, I came to you once and I can just, uh, you know, kind of unload on you. I'm gonna do it again. Y'all, Some whatever happened, there was deception involved. Somebody was trying to play you, right? Literally with the seven of pentacles and the, and the reverse energy. It talks about, you know, instant gratification, quitting too early. So a dip right under the eight of cups energy. So talking about either somebody dealing with their abandonment wounds or they tried to abandon you or whatever the situation was, somebody was moving out of their abandonment wounds, trying to abandon you, but there was deception and manipulation and trickery involved in the situation. This also talks about not only quitting too early, it also talks about rushing. And this is like, you know, being frustrated about the situation. Yes, there was frustration, but there was frustration with manipulation involved at the same time. So it's like, make it make sense. It doesn't make sense. It's like, you, you, you're telling me one thing, I got to mother you on one hand, but on the other hand, you're lying to me. Why well, I got to mother you if you're lying to me. Come on, y'all. Somebody literally cut off their hand, cut off their hand, uh, their, their nose despite the face, or however the saying goes. Yeah, literally cut off their nose despite the face. Ten of Swords and reverses of energy is here. Told you, cut off their nose despite the face because collective, you saw what I see in this energy. Something wasn't right. Yeah, you had to mother them. Yeah, you had to balance out their energy, but you picked up on something wasn't right how they were coming to you, right? That's why you had to release and move on because this person was carrying three of pentacles in the reverse energy. And I'm getting like this is central. This person is a bad team player. This person will pit mommy against daddy. That's exactly why this tower is in between y'all. This is somebody who plays people. This is what they do to get good news. So this person might've made up something like, hey, daddy left me and now I gotta go to mommy. You know what I'm saying? So that's where they're running to mommy. So mommy can mo mother them, right? They'll get that maternal instinct to kind of be soothed and coddled, right? To soothe their emotions. This person was playing mommy the entire time. Y'all, the downloads that I'm getting, somebody tried to play you and or somebody else if this is somebody else in the situation right however this resonates for you this is somebody who did this right this person is a bad team player that's exactly right under this magician in reverse energy the first that they're the fact that they're a bad team player this person's in their ego and i'm like it's i heard straight face this person lies with a straight face uh straight face <laughs> I heard straight face. This person lies with a straight face, right? Literally, because this person is a disloyal friend. Two of cups in reverse. Told you. This person deliberately causes relationship problems. That's exactly why there's a tower in between. If there's two different people, there's a tower in between you because this is what this person does. They cause relationship problems. They cause manipulation. So if they ran to mommy and lied about daddy, now mommy's mad at daddy. Now they can get off scot-free with, oh, you know, I'm, I'm the innocent one. I don't have to do anything. Y'all, the energies that I'm getting. So this is somebody played you and or somebody or they think they are. Let's see what comes out in the rest of this energy. This person does this. This person, <laughs> this person think they, 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 they slick, right? To a, to a cups in the reverse, right? This is a disloyal friend. This is somebody who's, you know, unrequited love, but it's all a game. This is a player out here in these streets. You know what I'm saying, collective? This person deliberately caused relationship problems with a, a Knight of Pentacles in reverse energy being lazy materialistic and shallow one this person is shallow this was a queen of cups in the reverse this person is shallow they're very surface right so the fact that you you mothered them which was good for you and it it, it actually goes in your favor for your good karma somebody's getting bad karma because they decide to play an empress that's not good collective so you you did your part no no worries on your part right so this is all good luck you know unfortunate for you right because you did what you were called to do right but at the same time this person was trying to play you heavy lazy energy somebody was being lazy on purpose creating a tower 
you know, trying to separate you from another person, trying to lie, make up some stuff. And they repeated it. So I'm, I'm hearing twice. So they repeated the same story twice is what I heard. Right. So whatever the situation is, laziness is playing into, into the situation here, causing relationship problems. Right. Literally. But you picked up on what I'm picking on collective. Y'all, my downloads are out here talking for somebody. We got a page of cups energy out here. Tell the story. Your intuition picked up on the same situation that I'm picking up on. This person's full of crap. <laughs> page of Cups. Your intuition was on fire and I wasn't it, right? This Page of Cups energy talks about not only you're picking up with energy. Um, I, I feel like if you were in the same room and I, I do, I'm, I'm getting like energy like you're in the same room with this particular person. Like you're all like together. So it's just like if you, if you were in the same room, you would have felt the difference in the energy you would have felt that it's not genuine right collective you know what i'm talking about if you're in the same room with this person you can feel that person's energy being an empath right with the page of cups um I'll, I'll, as well psychic you were getting downloads about this particular situation somebody um i heard twist words so th the the mothering that you did this person even though you're upright and honest this person would have twisted your words to make like you're the bad guy to this person this is what this person does i told you this person deliberately causes relationship problems so don't be surprised if this person pops up and be like uh, telling a different version of the story that you told my, my words collective i'm getting this in the downloads for somebody you, listen listen page of cups you hear me you're getting downloads you have the same intuitive abilities as me you understand this right you understand this person is uh, understand this person is carried three of swords energy Right, this person is hurt in some way, shape, or form, whether it's hurt by you, whether it's something that they made up, or they're deliberately causing three of swords, heartbreak, grief, arguments, and relationship breakdowns. Again, I'm getting this as a deliberate playbook by whoever this particular person is. I, I'm, I'm not gonna say, um, I heard the word psychopathy, but I'm not gonna go that far to be honest, even though I'm hearing that in the downloads. I do wanna give this person the benefit of the doubt because I feel like you're giving this person the benefit of the doubt. There is something unbalanced in this person's energy. It's not right didn't i tell y'all on one of my earlier readings that there's something there this person's not 100 here we go y'all i'm picking up on this energy you're gonna hear me what i'm talking about there's there's an imbalance whether it's a chemical imbalance there's something not right with this person they are not 100 something is off with this person this is why this is like i'm getting like i don't want to say psychopathy but something is in them to make them do what they do deliberately right I told you, people moving with these uh, these negative entities, right? Causing relationship breakdowns. You understand this, Page of Cups, because you're picking up what I'm picking up on. Most High is telling you Three of Wands energy. Keep going, though, because, again, I'm telling you, the blessing is on your side. You're still getting good uh, dharma, right? They're getting bad karma because of how they came to you. The fact that you're coming out as the King of Cups energy, and this is where I'm... Like, it's like advice for you. Keep going with your King of Cups energy because I don't care what they say. They embellished it. They lied. They tried to trick and manipulate you and turn somebody against you and you against them. You know, whatever the situation is, you understand this now. So don't let them change you is the kind of the message. Keep going with your King of Cups energy, right? So whether you are marrying those masculine and feminine energies to deal with the situation, however it resonates, right? This King of Cups energy is somebody who's very caring, nurturing, supportive, right you are definitely somebody who gives good sage advice keep doing that keep keep mothering keep caring keep loving we need more uh, love and care in the world so it's just like even though this person tried to play you like a fool you're not a fool you're very intuitive but don't let them change you that's the message that's why you're being guided to keep going with this particular energy not only that continue being the emperor y'all and th the way that i'm getting this is like profound it's like for it's like for all of the the trickery that somebody did it did not only you know not phase you but this is like slingshotted you into your position of power put you on your throne it's like not only can you, your manipulation not affect me it actually affected you and not affected me. You know what I'm saying? Collective, the fact that you're the emperor, you are the lit person that's in a position of leadership, two positions of leadership. You can counsel and, you know, be supportive at the same time while still being that masculine energy to provide discipline, to provide control in the situation so they won't get so out of control and to feel like they can create situations to, to put it on you. And that's really what I'm getting. It's like this person needs to kind of be, put some parameters around them, like, so they can't, think that they can just kind of create a problem and put it in your lap and thinking you can fix it all. You're like, no, 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 no. I'm going to give you the mommy that you need, uh, this King of Cups energy, or when you slash Empress energy on my last reading, and then I'm going to let you know I'm still in control. Okay, let them know collective. <laughs> like, this is what I'm getting. It's like, I, you can't unstabilize me because you're unstable. That's not how this works. Hey, I am in control here, not you. 
know what I'm saying? So if this is like an adult child, like freaking out and like trying to run your household. You're just like, I'm the parent here. <laughs> simmer down now, simmer down. Like this is like you, you know, giving them the, the, the coddling that they need because they needed it, right? They did need it because this person did carry a three uh, of swords. They might genuinely be hurt, right? They might be genuinely full of crap too. But at the same time, don't let, don't let them phase you. You're still in control. You got this collective and I know you do. That's exactly what this five of swords energy here all that got defeated. Told you, when you put your hammer down, you put the hammer down. You put the period at the end of a sentence, don't you, Collective? Because you understand you can be in control without being controlling. If that was the case, this emperor would be in the inverse. But you're an upright emperor, right? You know what power and discipline and control means, right? When somebody is out here losing their absolute mind, you know, blowing up stuff and trying to create uh, you know, foolishness and confusion and everything, you're just like, no, 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 no. I'm in control here. Here's how we're going to do this. Okay. Not how you're going to do it. Right. This is how we're going to do it. And I'm going to give you a hug at the same time. Cause I know something hurt you, whatever it is, some abandonment wounds, whatever the situation is, you defeated this particular energy with five of swords, right? You've also defeated the energy of them resisting change. Change is here. And I was uh, having a conversation with somebody, you know, uh, this goes back to what I was talking about in the past week or so. You know, the, the power dynamics are changing. This is the energy of endings and beginnings. This is the ending of somebody just kind of flipping all the way out and thinking that they can just blow stuff up and now you got to fix the problem. You're not doing that anymore. You're like, nope, I'm in control. This is how it's going to go, right? So endings and beginnings, right? So you defeated somebody who wanted to stop change, right? You defeated somebody who wanted to stay in the past. I did hear that somebody thought that going back in the past and and, and it's like digging up the past. Well, such and such and such, that person did such and such and such to me and blah, 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 blah. It was like some old stuff, right? But at the same time, it was like in an attempt to manipulate you to get them on your side, um, you know, or get you on their side rather. So it's just like, they thought going back in the past would work, but it's not. So this death and reverse energy is like them resisting, you know, you defeating them, uh, resisting the, the new energy, right? The fact that you're in control now, hey, I can still mommy you, I can still be in control of the situation, and I'm still going to make sure that you understand that that's, that stuff don't fly, okay? Whatever the situation was, you you shut all this down with this person who did not want to change, right? They wanted to keep something going. You're like, no, we're not keeping it going. This is getting shut down now. Dealing with the uh, and not a swords or reverse energy. The fact that I do get some like mental instability in some way, shape, or form from this person. So I do get the fact that it resonates for this somebody overcoming their fear of being depressed. That, again, there is a three of swords energy out here somewhere. So I do feel like there was something that somebody was really upset about for like a genuine reason. But they also manipulate at the same time. It, it just does not make sense. That's why their energy is just like off. So it's just like because their energy is off, they feel like manipulation is the way to get things, right? Because they don't know how to balance their energy or they don't want to either one, right? So it's just like the fact that you understand that you, this this person, you shut this down, right? Somebody who wanted to keep something going, they had to overcome their fear about making sure that, you know, they don't fall into the depression, right? And feeling like somebody is treating them some type of way. This person is, I'm getting this three of cups in reverse energy like this three of swords is related to the three of cups in reverse they feel like blamed like they feel like somebody is like treating them some type of way that's where this is coming from as well right they feel like they're isolated from a group they feel like somebody treated them some type of way it could have been the person that left them because i was getting that energy on the last card which is why they're dealing with abandonment wounds y'all all this energy is connecting to what i was saying right that eight of cups energy so you got eight of cups connected to this three of cups in reverse somebody dealing with their abandonment wounds. Now they got a, a crisis on, on, on their hands. Now they need you to deal with the crisis, right? Somebody feels the three of swords because they feel isolated from a group and they felt treated unfairly. But again, this is them overcoming the fear of this particular situation because of our last clarifier. Once they do that, they understand that they don't need to carry six of cups in the reverse, right? They don't need to move out of their childhood wounds. There's abandonment wounds that somebody was dealing with, right? I'm taking this up in the, in the energy for a particular reason. That childhood wound is how they react out of that, right? That's why this person was out of, out of control, right? The fact that they don't need to, you know, do that anymore because you understand what they need to do to not, you know, create that energy with you, right? But the fact of the matter is this person throws temper tantrums because there is a childhood abandonment wound there. So just FYI collective, I think you understand. So it's just like a mixed bag of 
something that needed to end, something that needed mommying, something that needed some balance and discipline and stability. And you provided all that, however it resonates, whether you married your masculine and uh, feminine energy to do this on your own, or whether you did this with a partner was a masculine and feminine energy, both of that was, was what was needed to be able to resolve the situation, right? So, you know, however the situation resonated so that somebody can manipulate mommy because daddy made them matter. However the situation is, both energies were needed, whether it was with you or somebody else involved to be able to resolve this uh, the situation. That's ex exactly why all this energy is defeated with the five of swords. All right, let's go ahead and get a divine nature oracle and wrap it up. Card 43, cultivate the divine masculine. Told you. So we have the, um, the Empress come out on the last reading. So this uh, Emperor energy, this is the divine masculine we're talking about. Many of us have only witnessed the masculine as a form of patriarchy, seeking to command and dominate. But this masculine force, which lives inside of each of us, is seeking to assist you with the force that is power with rather than power over. He can guide your steps and help you turn wisdom, intuition, and insights of the feminine psyche into action and practical magic. Let his capability and kindness expand to the perimeter of all you hold dear, making space for you to rest your striving heart. Let go. Let yourself be loved from the inside out by the divine masculine. Allow him to open spaces for the next right action while you surrender to partnership. Everything that is coming out in this reading talks about the divine masculine energy. Told you. Let's get a gratitude oracle and wrap it up. Card 19 talks about the energy of understanding. King of Cups energy. So we got the divine masculine out here doing work. Now we got understanding coming in from the King of Cups. That good sage counts are talking about understanding this person. When you bring the willingness to listen and understand to a situation, you go beyond your assumptions and experience and allow people to feel seen and heard. A determination or judgment may be based on perceptions or appearances. Conclusions can be formed before facts are checked or all of the relevant information is known. It is wise to be diligent about researching and developing an informed understanding of a situation before taking action. In conversation, you can be so focused on telling your story or sharing your impressions that you might forget to listen to what the other person is saying. Even if you are listening, you might not have a clear understanding of what they are saying. Aim for a deeper appreciation of where people are coming from, what, what they are experiencing and what motivates them. Also what they require from you as well. You can remain objective as you listen and it will help you get to know more about the person with whom you are communicating. With understanding, you can develop wisdom. Wisdom enables you to make better decisions and to assist others from a solid foundation. Understanding opens a door to consideration and caring. Reflect on a situation with honesty and openness and much will be gained as it was. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's a, it was a situation that was that at least somebody thought was out of hand. But because you married the, your understanding with that King of Cups energy, with the divine masculine, with the emperor energy, you were able to shut all this down. I'm so proud of y'all. That's going to go ahead and do it for this particular reading. If you do like this content, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time, bye-bye.